What is ultramafic rock? Ultramafic rock is a type of igneous rock that is characterized by its very high content of mafic minerals, particularly ferromagnesian minerals like olivine and pyroxene. Ultramafic rocks are distinguished by their low silica, SiO2, content and high levels of iron, Fe, and magnesium, Mg, relative to other types of rocks. These rocks are primarily composed of minerals rich in these elements, making them valuable for understanding Earth's mantle and geological processes. Key characteristics of ultramafic rocks include Mineral composition, as mentioned, ultramafic rocks are primarily composed of mafic minerals, with olivine being a dominant mineral. Other common minerals found in ultramafic rocks include pyroxenes like augite and enstatite. These minerals give the rocks their characteristic dark green to black color. Low silica content Ultramafic rocks have a very low silica content, typically less than 45% SiO2. This is in contrast to felsic rocks, which have high silica content. High iron and magnesium content Ultramafic rocks are rich in iron and magnesium, which gives them their mafic character. These elements are abundant in the minerals present, contributing to the rock's dark color. Intrusive and extrusive varieties, ultramafic rocks can be found in both intrusive, plutonic, and extrusive, volcanic, forms. Intrusive ultramafic rocks, like peridotite, form from magma that cools and solidifies beneath the Earth's surface. Extrusive ultramafic rocks, like comadiite, result from volcanic eruptions. Rare and unique, ultramafic rocks are relatively rare on the Earth's surface and are often associated with geologically interesting and significant environments. They are more commonly found in the Earth's mantle, and when they do reach the surface, they offer valuable insights into Earth's internal processes. Ultramafic rocks have several geological and scientific implications. Mantle composition as ultramafic rocks are thought to originate from the Earth's mantle, their study provides valuable information about the composition and mineralogy of the mantle. This helps scientists better understand the Earth's interior. Geological processes Ultramafic rocks are often associated with tectonic plate boundaries, particularly in ophiolite sequences, where they are exposed at the Earth's surface. The study of these rocks aids in understanding plate tectonics, ophiolite formation, and the evolution of ocean basins. Mineral resources, ultramafic rocks may contain economically valuable minerals, particularly those associated with ore deposits. For example, some ultramafic rocks host deposits of nickel, chromite, and platinum group elements, which are important resources for various industrial applications. Geological history, the presence of ultramafic rocks in certain regions can provide insights into the geological history and processes that shaped those areas. In summary, ultramafic rocks are unique and important components of Earth's geology, often associated with the Earth's mantle and tectonic plate boundaries. Their composition and characteristics are not only significant for understanding geological processes but also for economic and scientific purposes. How is ultramafic rock formed? Ultramafic rock is formed primarily through processes related to the Earth's mantle and the cooling of molten material. It's a rock type rich in mafic minerals, such as olivine and pyroxene, with very low silica content. Understanding how ultramafic rock is formed involves looking at its origin and the geological processes that lead to its creation. Mantle origin, ultramafic rocks are believed to originate from the Earth's mantle. The mantle is the layer of the Earth beneath the crust, and it extends to a depth of about 2,900 kilometers, 1,800 miles. It consists of solid, yet flowing, partially molten rock material. Ultramafic compositions are thought to represent the mineralogical composition of the mantle. Partial melting, the formation of ultramafic rock begins with partial melting within the mantle. 
This process occurs as a result of increased temperature and pressure with increasing depth beneath the Earth's surface. The mantle rock is subject to immense heat from the Earth's interior. This heat can cause some of the minerals within the mantle rock to melt, particularly the mafic minerals rich in iron and magnesium, such as olivine and pyroxene. Magmatic liquids, when partial melting occurs, it generates magmatic liquids that are enriched in mafic minerals and are relatively low in silica content. These liquids are less viscous and denser than surrounding rock, so they have a tendency to rise through the mantle. As they ascend, these magmatic liquids may mix with other mantle materials, undergo crystallization, and evolve in composition. Intrusion or extrusion the magmatic liquids formed in the mantle can either remain beneath the Earth's surface as intrusive or plutonic ultramafic rocks, or they can be extruded onto the surface as volcanic or extrusive ultramafic rocks. The cooling and solidification of these magmatic liquids lead to the formation of ultramafic rock. Types of ultramafic rock Different types of ultramafic rock can form based on the specific conditions and the cooling rate. For example, Peridotite is a common intrusive ultramafic rock, while comatiite is an example of an extrusive ultramafic rock. Peridotite is often found in ophiolite complexes, which are sections of oceanic lithosphere that have been pushed onto the continents, providing scientists with a unique window into the Earth's mantle composition. Tectonic processes The formation of ultramafic rock is closely linked to tectonic processes. Plate tectonics, which govern the movement of Earth's lithospheric plates, plays a significant role in the creation and exposure of ultramafic rock. Ultramafic rocks are commonly associated with convergent plate boundaries, divergent plate boundaries, and transform plate boundaries, as well as ophiolite sequences. In summary, ultramafic rocks are primarily formed in the Earth's mantle through partial melting of mafic minerals, leading to the creation of magmatic liquids that eventually cool and solidify. The specific type of ultramafic rock and its subsequent geological role depend on factors such as the depth of formation, cooling rate, and tectonic setting. The study of these rocks provides valuable insights into Earth's interior composition and the processes shaping the planet's surface. Please do not forget to subscribe to my channel, turn on notifications, like my videos and write comments.